Hi guys. Hello. We have a little bit of technical difficulties, but I think we're getting going now. So I have Tamira on the phone, so she should be in this waiting room somewhere. And if I can find her, I'll let her in. <laughs> I think you're all right. I think you're just in the waiting room somewhere. Okay. I got to find you. <laughs> okay. I think 21 and meeting. I don't know, Samara, you might want to try logging back in. Okay. Okay. All right, hang on, ladies. We're gonna get going here. <laughs> get your workout shoes on. Let's see. Make this bigger. I hope everybody is doing well. I I guess so. There you go. Fred Brown's here. Hey, Link. Hey, See you now. I need a man. What is it saying, Tamir? Uh, All right, let me send you a link to follow. All right, do you, can you go into your email? Go into your email and then that link I sent you. I emailed you this morning. Try that. All right, guys, just hang out. Make sure you got your workout stuff ready to go. Oh, there she is. I got you. Our superstar. All right. Okay. Can you give me something? Can you give me something? Oh, I saw you. Hey, you guys. There she is. I'm in <laughs> yeah. What up, you guys? Morning for those of you that are in the AM of 8 o'clock, and morning to those that are at 10 a.m. and 9 a.m. like me. How is everybody doing today? Oh, feeling good. Good. Doing good? Thank you for the answer. Greatly appreciate that. Oh, I don't like to be just a soundboard. <laughs> so, no, oh, it's hard without that feedback, huh? Right? Like staring, like, uh huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, everybody's videos are on. Mm -hmm. Um, hey, Irene McCall, Gia, Samantha, Vivian, Johnny, Yessie, Sophie. Come on, you guys, put your videos on. We're working out together. <laughs> Bedrick, there's some space over here. Lammy. <laughs> Come on, you guys. We're working out together. We're not hiding behind the camera. <laughs> the camera's not working. <laughs> All right, you guys. Yeah, that was Fred. Mm -hmm. well, those, those kids are over there. Thank you, Vivian. <laughs> Well, they're setting themselves up. Thank you, Selby. Oh, wow, she's outside. Look at her. Oh, hi. Yeah. All right, you guys. We are going to get started. I don't, I don't, I don't want to go over here outside. So, we have a short little list kind of thing that we're going to be doing. So, you guys can see me. I'm going to make sure. <laughs> Make sure y'all can see me when I'm doing everything. So we're going to start out with a warm-up of jumping jacks. Not jumping jacks. Um, jump rope and push-ups and squats. And I'll be guiding you guys along, so don't you guys worry. 
I'm just gonna put my screen lord, my tripod. Got it from Amazon. All right, you guys ready? Stand up with me. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> Take out your arms. <laughs> Bring your arms back and forth. Open up that chest. There you go. Check out your leg. In a squat position and bring your leg in. And out. Alright, <laughs> <laughs> Y'all know the wrestling jumping stance. You all do it. All right. Now we're going to jump rope. If you don't have a jump rope, you can just jump like this and we can let you have one. We're going to do that for 20 seconds. Both feet. Here we go. Go. There you go. Get those feet off the ground. Feet off the ground. Feet off the ground. Both feet. <laughs> Both I'm feet. not muted. Wow. <laughs> 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 All right. Push up. You've got eight of them. They're slow. Here we go. On my count. And one. Up. Two, up, three, up, four, 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 up, five, five, up, six, up, all the way down, seven, up, wait, I'm not going down the one. <laughs> How are you guys? Well, How are you? They're they they themselves. So. Ten seconds, but we're gonna go fast, slow, and then fast again. Both feet jump rope. Here we go. In three, two, one, go. Fast. We're fast, Ranger. Fast, fast, fast. Pick up, pick up, pick up, pick up, pick up, pick up. Pick up. Pick up. Slow. And time. 
getting started in three, two, one, go. Pick up, pick up, pick up, pick up. Pick up those arms, pick up those feet. Go, go, go. Over time. And time. Sweat. Guys. I'm sweating over here. <laughs> All right. That's the warm up. Now we're going to go into all the exercises. We're doing mm -hmm. super sets. So we've got snap down. And then we have the front foot elevated squat. And that's going to be four times. We're going to go, we're going to do a round of four. So both of them, we're going to do four of them four times. And for squat and for snap down, we're going to do 10 of them. And for elevated dumbbell, we're going to have one, we're going to have five on each side. So it's five, five, and 10. All right. Well, with the elevated squat or with the elevated dumbbell, try to get something to elevate your foot. I have this right here, so I want you guys to find something to elevate your foot. The way the front foot elevated foot squat. <laughs> Yes. My balance is not good. But I want you I want you guys to find something to elevate your foot. So anything around the house, textbook, a staircase. Over here. Oh. Where is it? So we're doing that on, on both sides. Five times. But first, we've got our snap down. You guys ready? Yeah, go find something to get your foot elevated. Oh, does this work? All right. The snap down, the way they look, we reach for the sky. We squat down, so we jump up. And then we hold position in our stance. I'm in right. the stand. Here we go, you guys. We've got 10 of them consecutively. On my count, don't rush it. Here we go. In three, two, one, go. One, two, three, four, five. I'm getting closer. Six. Seven, eight, nine, one, two, ten. Good job. All right. Now find that knee that you elevated on. And again, we're gonna use. We're gonna squat. Here we go. One. Okay. Two, three, four, five, next way. One, next harder. Two, three. Four. Oh gosh, good job, you guys. I'm gonna adjust something on these dumbbell squats. Well, if you don't have dumbbell, go on these elevated squats. Instead of bringing our leg out, we're gonna bring our foot down. So we're gonna keep our foot. Next to our, our planet foot. So our foot's slightly elevated. That's what it is. Just want to make a quick correction. All right. Back to the snap down. Here we go. Ten of them. Arms up. Go. One. Two. 
your face I imagine like being facing off against you and it freaks me out man <laughs> I don't want to be on a mat with you
to have them both your arms. Why y'all are getting water? It could be a water bottle. It could be a half full water jug. It could be a whole water jug. It could be a orange juice jug. <laughs> Define your preference. We have lateral kettlebell squat next. So you're going to be using whatever weight you've chosen for these next two exercises. I've got my, my cute little silver dumbbell to help me along the way. All right, you guys, have you all gathered back? I got some mini crock pots. Hey, what's up? I'll work. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Are you going to be using that water bottle for your exercise? Or just drink it? <laughs> just drinking it. I feel like I'm definitely going to go All right, you guys. So we have dumbbell seated military press. So again, we're going to be sitting on our butt. Maybe you guys can see you. We're sitting on our butt. Legs straight in or straight, straight out in front of us. And we're going to be doing, we're going to have our hand on my hip, and we're just going to press whatever we have in our hand. And then press down lateral, legs apart, pedal or I kind of go whatever you have, and you're just going to squat. They're nice and slow. Make sure your heel stays to the ground. So that's what we're doing. And we're doing five rounds, five each side. All right? Five each side. All right. So, starting with. <laughs> Oh, Saturday, 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 Saturday Night Live, Fight Night with Tamara. All right, you guys ready? Let's get started. Ah, make sure you're on your butt, not on your knees. Good job, good job. Here we go. We're going nice and slow. And one, two. Oh my gosh, I just saw a hand appear out of nowhere. Three. I was wondering where they were. Four. Five. Good job, you guys. Next arm. And one. Two. Four. Three. Six. Four. Five. Good job. Hey, I just want to correct any position. Make sure you're not leaning. You're sitting straight. Everything is straight. Everything is aligned. When your arm goes up, that stays straight as well. All right, into our lateral squat. Go ahead and get one more. Stand up, please. All right, legs apart. Now we're going to do our kettlebell lateral squat. And I like to alternate each side because the burn is unruly, y'all. But if you want to just stay on one side and go to the other, that's fine too. Here we go. Right then. One. Two, three, four, keep your chest up, five, try not to lean, six, seven, eight, more, nine, ten, good job. Back on your foot. All right, hands on hips, arms at the ready, and go. One, two, three, four, five, switch. Oh, oh, going to the next one. One, extra one, two, three. Four, five, good job. And back up, 
Hey, don't worry, you guys. We are almost done. We got one more exercise. It's a spot. Here we go. One, two. Good job. Way to get your chest up. Four. Yep, I'm so sorry. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Good job. Back on your butt. Get set. Come on, set the ready. And then I'm just looking what side I start. We're almost there. And up. One. I saw that. You started before me. Two. Three. Four. Five. Good job. Split. And up. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. All right. And we're back up. My bad. Now we're halfway through. I lose track of guys. All right. Listen, like the part. And go. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Is someone counting in here? Is that me? Eight. Nine. Ten. Nope, it's me. I think it was just you echoing back. Oh. I hear my echo. All right. I'm at the ready. Why are we sitting down, Sarah? Why are we, why are we sitting down? Oh, it's just the exercise. Um, my coaches have been doing this, just focusing on alignment and just pressing up. <laughs> it's hard to see the dumbbell military press. It's supposed to be like on the bench. It definitely makes me bring my chest up more. Yeah, yeah make sure your chest is tall. You're not hunching. You're nice and tall. Oh. You guys ready? And go. One, two, three, four, five. Next mark. Up. One, two, three, four, five. Good job. And that lateral spot. Leg apart, one again. Here we go. One, two, three, four, nice and tall. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job. Deep down. One more thing. All right. Get it set. Three, two, one, go. One, two, three, four, five. Next arm. One, two, Three, four, five. Good job, you guys. And that was all the set. Now, our last thing that we have is an energy system. And that's something that we're going to be doing where we're, we have either fast feet, a fast dancing motion. We're going to do that eight times. And we have 30 seconds each time. So find something that you want to do that's quick. I'm going to do fast feet. But you guys are welcome to do it, but make sure it's quick. So if you're doing burpees, by all means, do some burpees. But I've got fast feet in my eyes. All right, you guys. Get ready. Here we go. 
names. And up, now 
I'm gonna keep talking to you guys while we're stretching. Legs apart. So I want to tell you guys the importance of sports psychology. Now for me, when I was y'all's age, I didn't have anybody to tell me how important the rest of the mindset in the wrestling world is. Like so important. Like I had no one to tell me that. We're switching. And I and so glad that I get to tell you guys that sports psychology is extremely important. I lost a lot of matches to where I could have won because I wasn't focused on what I had to offer to the match. And because I didn't believe in myself, I ended up losing a lot of those matches. Now, I practice sports psychology when I am in the wrestling room every day for practice. Yep, so crawling forward. We're stretching that lower back in our hips. So what I do is I make sure if you have live, if you have any kind of practice, I'm telling myself, hey, you got this. All right? There is behind me. Leg in front, leg back. Leaning forward. Because you guys, a lot of times, you don't think that our mindset is really important. And we don't need to exercise it. But just like we exercise our bodies, we need to exercise our mind. And I've been beaten by people I shouldn't have done. I shouldn't have lost it. So I, I got to say, it's really important. I can't stress it enough. So if you guys are having issues with it, you can ask me my, my routine, my steps on how I do it. But I'm here for you guys. And I just don't want you guys to struggle like I did. I mean, I figured it out. But it took a minute. Like this process. Left over right. And took four back. Another thing I want to say is work at work You guys get slow. And Work ethic is extremely important. You don't want to you know, give your like half of yourself when you're doing something because then it all translates to the math. Because you practice what you preach, you, you do what you practice. So if you constantly practice not giving your all, that's what's going to happen. So that's why I come to the level to do a little bit of overtime because sometimes you need to do a little more at a match, right? So this work ethic definitely translates to. And it, it's something that's very, very realistic, you guys. Very realistic. You practice a move wrong, you do it in a match. Don't say, oh, I know how to do that. Practice it. Practice it better. Butterfly. Uh. All right. And then excellence under pressure. Oh, ties right into it. Excellence under pressure. You guys eat great. You guys remember what I had said, make sure you stay low. And whatever it is you're doing, get 100% even at the end. That's what I mean. Excellence under pressure. You guys, I'm sure your legs were burning like a mother. Because mine was burning. <laughs> I'm not superhuman. But that's where you give your all when you're under pressure. And so if you guys continue to practice that, it'll translate onto the mat as well. So a lot of things that you practice, you end up doing on the mat. So that's why it's important to practice a good sports side for your mind and making sure you have a strong work ethic and that you are working very well under pressure. And there's comments that keep popping up. All right, you guys. You guys are done stretching. <laughs> I like to stretch after I'm done. It's a uh, shoot. I'm a little bit older, y'all. I'm 27 years old. But either way, it's still important to stretch. Always. Come here, you are so, aw. Oh, oh, they were private messages. <laughs> Thank you, Frederick. Yeah, we do. We're, oh, 27 is old to me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Thank you, Frederick. Oh, we're going to be doing this next Saturday, too, guys. Don't you worry. But, do any of you guys have any questions, comments, concerns? Bless you, Samantha. <laughs> oh, I have a question. Yes. 
Oh, hi. Um, I'm Shani. And I was just wondering, um, I know you mentioned this earlier, but what's your, like, routine before practice, like, to your mental game? Ooh, great question. Somebody singing. So, for me, uh, it's going to be a little bit different because I'm at the Olympic Training Center. So, I, once I do everything I need to do at home, I walk into the wrestling room and we have a wall of champions. And every day before I walk, like while I'm walking to the locker room, you have to pass this enormous wall for the Olympic and world champions, right? So every day I got into the habit of looking at it and saying, I'm gonna be on that wall. <laughs> I'd walk into the, then I walk into the mat room and I get focused, whatever happened at home, I throw it away, whatever I'm stressing about, I toss it aside because it's practice time. So I get refocused in the mat room after I finish. I'm gonna be on that wall. And I put my wrestling shoes on, I do my business in the bathroom, and then I go out there and, and wrestle. Like it's nothing really complicated. It's not, all right, I'm gonna write on my mirror. Today you are going to be great. Tomorrow you are better. Today you're gonna be fantastic. It's nothing complicated, Shawnee. I just look up, look at the wall, say I wanna be on it, walk into that wrestling locker room, say, Time to refocus, and then I step on the mat, and then I'm ready to go. It's a lot harder than you think, but it's also really simple. And simplicity sometimes is like the key of life <laughs> in some things. Okay, thank you. Questions. You're welcome. Can I ask Any more questions? Mira, what are you, what's your routine before like a match? Because that that goes into like your excellence under pressure. And then you yes. Practice in your practice room, do you practice like preparing for a match? But what do you do? Yeah, so good question, because it is a little bit different than what I do, like, before every practice, right? So right before a match, if I have three matches up until I'm going, I get away from anybody that's bothering me, like, telling me, oh, man, you've got so-and-so next. I don't know if you're going to do good. Or, oh, my gosh, you're going to do great. You've got so-and-so next. Whatever that high low pop may be, I get away from it. I put my, yes, my headphones on, my music on, and I, I listen to something that pumps me up. And one of, my, one of my songs is Cut the Cord by Shine Down and John by Lil Wayne. I listen to all clean versions of these songs, but it gets me pumped. Also, Blanca, Not Backing Down. Those are my three, rock, rap, and, and Christian. And I'm just like, oh, in my head, ready to go. A minute, or not a minute, um, six minutes before my match, I refocus, I take off my glasses, my headphones, I get into a squat, and I just erase every and all things out of my mind. And I just create a blank space in my mind, not thinking about the match, thinking about anything, not even thinking about the songs. I'm thinking about nothing. And I'm in a squat, and I'm just deep breathing in and out. I'm just here, breathing in and out. Some people like to do stands in motion and grab me for like a, a hand fight. But me personally, that's what I do because I know I'm physically ready, but I'm working on my mental toughness, right? So I get in there and I, I think about nothing. And then three minutes before my match, I make sure somebody's aware of where I'm at and I'll have them tap me. And I'm ready to go and I shake it out and I sing my song out loud to help me also stay focused and not worry about what my point is, I'm not putting her on a pedestal. So I'm thinking, all right, load up the chaplains like it's December 31st. Load up the cock and then hit them, hit it where it hurts. And I'm singing it out loud, I don't even care. <laughs> it doesn't even matter. I mean, I'm whispering it maybe because I do kind of care, but, <laughs> but I'm still singing it out loud. So that's my routine. And I, I do that every single time though, <laughs> every single time. But that's why I give myself an ample amount of time three matches before my match. So I've got 18 minutes to do that. So that's my routine, Marcy. I know it's long, but it works. No, oh, that's how totally it works. I have a question. Yes. With the Olympics in mind, what's your training regimen week by week? Ooh, what I'm doing right now. So I, 
do a strength and conditioning workout Monday, Wednesday, Friday, or I go and I roll around with my husband. We have a like a little system in our garage that it, it's a mat. But before then, before we had it, it was Monday, Wednesday, Friday, strength and conditioning. Tuesday, Thursday, either yoga, a run, or some kind of CrossFit thing. So I do that. And then Saturdays, so Saturdays are yoga too. But Saturday, I had to switch it for you guys. <laughs> so I, I pretty much do one practice a day, sometimes two. Like my husband wanted me to go do jujitsu with him today, but it was at 9.30. <laughs> So I kind of missed that boat, <laughs> but it doesn't matter. So I'm out, I'm kind of all over the place with my routines, but once I get back onto the mat and actually wrestling with my homies, then it'll start getting like a little bit more stronger. But right now I'm just trying to maintain my fitness. You see this? I'm just trying to maintain, all right? <laughs> There's no need to like pump it all out. I'm not trying to kill myself. <laughs> just maintaining. That was a great question. I Thank have you. a question. Yes, Vivian. So I do jujitsu as well, and I've done it for a longer time. I've done it longer than wrestling. How do you incorporate like that type of style of grappling with wrestling? Uh uh. I, I, <laughs> I, I've only done it twice. Oh really? You're new? Yeah. yeah. I'm all over the place. I'm like, ooh, can I do that inside trip on somebody? You're like, ah, I don't know about that. Like, did you do like a different beast, Vivian? It like, is. Doing this. You're like, huh, huh, huh. I'm like, what is this? <laughs> it's, it's a different animal. I don't, I don't incorporate what I do in jujitsu into wrestling because I've only been doing it for a short time. But I've right. asked him, if I can incorporate wrestling into jujitsu. Oh yeah, a hundred percent. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so Does that I do jujitsu, but that? I don't really do it, okay? <laughs> it's something that I maintain my athleticism with, right? <laughs> so that's what I do. A lot of people pull guard on my husband, and I try to do that, and I'm like, Ugh, get off of me. Oh, I'm going to put you in a <laughs> Like it's it's a different animal, but good question. <laughs> Any more questions? Are you gonna do MMA after? Is that why you're getting it? Uh you know, Marcy, it's in the air. I've been thinking like either WWE or MMA or house mom. <laughs> so I kind I kind of don't know. At the same time, I'm like, if I have a kid, no way do I want them to see me getting beat up and hit by chairs. And then I come home and confess, like, mama had a hard day at work, but she still loves you. And they start crying. <laughs> <laughs> For now, I'm just messing around with it. But who knows where it will take me. <laughs> Any more questions? Don't be shy now. I'm here. <laughs> I'm here waiting. How many of you guys sweated? I did. Oh. <laughs> Yo, I have a question. Still sweating. What's up? Uh, what's like your best advice for somebody who's in college and is wrestling? Who is in college and who is wrestling? My best advice that I could give you guys is take every don't take anything for granted. If you have somebody in the wrestling room that you know is better than you by all means, get your hands on them and utilize them because they, they won't be there for long. And if you're a freshman coming in, they're probably a senior or a junior. And who knows what happens? They might transfer or something happens at home and they can't go to college anymore. Whatever the case it may be, take for granted what you have. Take advantage of that. If you guys have questions, ask your coaches. If you need extra practice, I promise you, one of many of your teammates is going to want to go and wrestle with you in the evening, at night, on the weekend, whatever the case may be. If you're struggling on something, don't hesitate to ask. Communication is key, you guys, especially in college. Those people are your family. Like, it's your home away from home. And if you're, even if you're getting behind in studies, please 
let your coach know and say, I, I can't figure this out and I'm falling behind in my classes. Sooner is better rather than later. Because shoot, midterms come in and they're like, oh my gosh, you got a 70, you, not a 70, that's fast. You got a 42? Oh gosh, that's cringy. <laughs> like, please ask for help, ask for help. I've never seen a 42 before. So I was like, what's low? Like 70 was my lowest. And I was like, no, I need help. I want to be. <laughs> I was kind of that nerd. I, I needed to get stuff done. But at the same time, wrestling is hard. So finding that balance is definitely key as well. And uh, just giving your all in the moment. So if you're at wrestling practice, be at rec wrestling practice. If you're trying to study for your test, study for your test. Do your homework. Like just be present in the moment. So I kind of like sidetracked on that, but that's my advice, like going into wrestling and, or going to wrestling in the college. Also, if you know that you can beat somebody, do not hesitate to challenge them. If you think you can be on the varsity spot, be on the varsity spot. Don't hold back. You're going to make each other better by pushing each other. So if you're not giving your all, then they're not getting any better and either are you. So give it your all, you guys especially in college, so college is tough. But when you're giving your all, oh, it feels so good, I promise you. I just looked at myself, my word, I'm sweaty. What <laughs> <laughs> the crud? All right, uh, I know all your guys' time is important and Tamara's is too, but Titan Mercury Wrestling Club is a national wrestling club and we um, believe in these girls. And so we have about 23 girls on our team. Um, we support women that we think can make world or Olympic medals. And so uh, Tamira has come a long way when we first picked her up because she had a fanny pack and we'll have to tell you about that story next time. I still wear a fanny pack. <laughs> so the reason why she wore it is pretty interesting. But oh, no, 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 no. And coming along, so let's keep that for next time. And then the fanny pack story. But as Tamira said next week, uh, it'll be at same time, 8 o'clock Pacific Standard Time. It's May 9th, and then we'll have one more. Um, Titan Mercury Wrestling Club is trying to do what we can to offer support for our college athletes and college coaches, so spread the word. We had about 26 on here, but I think there's a lot more girls at Wrestling College that could benefit from this. So please spread the word and get it out. I'll post this um, on our Facebook page and a couple other places, so if you want to use these workouts again, you can jump back on and get on them. Um, I think that's all for now, unless there's any last minute questions. Otherwise, we'll plan to be back here at the same time next Saturday. Tamira, are you doing yoga? Is that what you're going to do next week? Yes. Okay. <laughs> I'm a little bit more relaxed. Than next <laughs> oh, no, it's not. No, it's not going to be. It's going to be stressful. <laughs> I'm going to have y'all holding positions <laughs> for like five to three minutes. And it was going to be great, you guys. I've been doing yoga, too. So like, it, it, it'll be great, it'll be great, it'll be great. <laughs> oh, so make sure you have your music ready too. Like if you don't want to listen to mine, uh, just have, I don't know, birds, nature in the background to ease your mind. I'll be walking you through it, so don't worry. <laughs> All right, guys, thanks for coming on. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Happy Saturday. Happy Saturday. Happy, happy. You guys started it out great, too. Oh, oh, they're still on. Oh, oh, oh. I'll hang up. <laughs> <laughs>